Welcome to Art History with Jackie. Today, we will be talking about the life and art of Jacob Lawrence, an American painter known for his portrayal of African-American historical subjects and contemporary life. He referred to his style as dynamic cubism, although he noted his primary influence was not so much French art as the shapes and colors of his home city of Harlem. Lawrence was born in 1917 in Atlantic City, New Jersey, where his parents had migrated from the rural South. When his parents divorced in 1924, his mother put him and his two younger siblings in foster care in Philadelphia. When he was 13, he and his siblings moved to New York City, where he reconnected with his mother in Harlem. Lawrence was introduced to art shortly after that. The young Lawrence often drew patterns with crayons. After dropping out of school at 16, Lawrence worked in a laundromat and a printing plant. He continued with art, attending classes at the Harlem Art Workshop, taught by noted African-American artist Charles Alston. Alston urged him to attend the Harlem Community Art Center, led by sculptor Augusta Savage, who we looked at last week. She secured a scholarship to the American Artist School for Lawrence and got him a paid position with the Works Progress Administration, which had been set up during the Great Depression. Harlem provided crucial training for the majority of Black artists in the United States. Lawrence was one of the first artists trained in and by the African-American community in Harlem. Throughout his artistic career, Lawrence concentrated on exploring the history and struggles of African-Americans. The hard, brittle aspects of Harlem during the Great Depression inspired Lawrence as much as the colors, shapes, and patterns inside the homes of his residents. He started to gain some notice for his dramatic and lively portraits of both contemporary scenes of African-American urban life as well as historical events, all of which he depicted in crisp shapes, bright, clear colors, dynamic patterns, and through revealing posture and gestures. At the very start of his career, he developed the approach that made his reputation and remained his touchstone, creating series of paintings that told a story or, less often, depicted many aspects of a subject. His first were biographical accounts of key figures of the African diaspora, he was just 21 years old when his series of 41 paintings of the Haitian general Toussaint Louverture, who led the revolution of the slaves that eventually gained independence, was shown in an, in an exhibit of African-American artists at the Baltimore Museum of Art. This was followed by a series of paintings of the lives of Harriet Tubman and Frederick Douglass. In 1941, Lawrence married painter Gwendolyn Knight, also a student of Augusta Savage. Lawrence completed the 60-panel set of narrative paintings entitled The Migration Sh Series in 1940 and 1941. The series portrayed the Great Migration when hundreds of thousands of African Americans moved from the rural South to the urban North after World War I. He was working in tempera, which dries quickly, so he planned all the paintings in advance and then applied a single color wherever he was using it across all the scenes to maintain tonal consistency. Then he would proceed to the next color. The series was exhibited at the downtown gallery in Greenwich Village, which made him the first African-American artist represented by a New York gallery. He was drafted to World War II, but continued his art after the war ended. He was celebrated in retrospectives at the Whitney, as well as the Seattle Art Museum. He and his wife established the Jacob and Gwendolyn Lawrence Foundation for the creation, presentation, and study of American art with a particular emphasis on African-American artists. Lawrence brought the African-American experience to life, using blacks and browns juxtaposed with vivid colors. He is among the best-known 20th century African-American painters, known for his modernist illustrations of everyday life. Thank you, and see you next week.